Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're doing a Monday motivation. So without further ado, let's just motivate my ass to get on this bike and start riding and uh, do the show, all right? Let's get the show on the road. So, in today's episode, I'm gonna give you guys this point of view, all right? I'm sure you guys have seen this point of view before. Um, if you enjoy this point of view, um, you can check out my Merida, Mexico um, travel channel. Because remember, I live out here in Mexico and I show you guys a lot of, uh, you know, what, what Mexico is really like <clears throat> on my travel channel. Or even on this channel, we're doing Monday Motivation. So let's get to Monday Motivation. That's what you guys tuned in for. So in today's episode, we're just going to be talking about... You know how to motivate yourself I mean basically it's fairly simple you need to learn you know to motivate yourself that's it eventually you know as you watch many 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 of these videos you know as uh, you know not just videos uh, that I'm making but you know videos you know videos that other people are making on the same exact subject of uh, Monday motivation or motivation, um, you eventually get to that point where you're like, man, all right, you know, this is great and all, but I gotta like, you know, fix myself. I gotta motivate myself because it's like, look, right now, I'll tell you, I'll give you some context. I'm shooting this on Thursday afternoon. It's, it's super dark. I'm gonna see if I can fix it um, in post, you know what I mean? When I do editing, I'm gonna fix it so you guys can see better. But right now on my camera, I can barely see anything because it's really dark. Um, it's already like five o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, you know, right now I just finished a, a cooking live stream. All right, I just finished doing a cooking live stream right now, um, a little while ago and um, like about, I don't know, half an hour ago. And I just got finished cleaning up. I finished putting uh, everything back where it needed to go and, uh, and all that stuff and I had, you know some time to kill now not really time to kill i had a lot of things i have to do but i said you know one of the things that i do have to do was uh, i had to film this episode i had to film a monday motivation i already got like a a bunch of episodes filmed and ready to go and set but i don't have uh, monday motivation coming up so i was like all right here time to film monday motivation you know what i mean so this is what i'm doing now we're filming this all right and so uh you know the whole monday motivation thing by the way so again you know you're probably seeing a little extra traffic because it's thursday afternoon people are getting out of work and all that stuff so but the point anyway so what i'm making on the point i'm making is that a good majority of the time you need to motivate yourself and this is the reality of it, all right? You need to motivate yourself. Now, I was gonna film this episode in the next day or two or something, but I got a lot of things I gotta do. Um, today, I've been very busy doing a lot of computer work. Um, I didn't do, you know, exercise or anything like that. It's not like I'm very uh, schedulistic about that, but I do try to keep as uh, much exercise in my, you know, in my uh, day as possible. So again, today, I really didn't do any exercise. Now. Yeah, I was tired after I did the live stream. I was really tired, but I'm like, well, I'm still full of energy. Um, there's still light out. It's not that late, not that dark. I still got a few hours before the podcast that I do live every Tuesday and Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, so I go, you know what? I still got time. Let me film this episode now. I don't have to edit it now, but I can do it later. And again, you know, I'm just motivating myself, you know what I mean? Motivating myself in order, in order for me to motivate you. So, and a lot of times I've told you already, you know what I mean? Like, uh, sometimes I really don't like making these Monday motivations, you know what I mean? Because it, it restricts me to a certain kind of content. It restricts me to a certain kind of, uh, you know, video I got to produce, you know, again, motivation Monday. But the reality is, is that these, you know, they, they, they grow on me, meaning that they help motivate me to do a bunch of other things that I don't want to do either. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like uh, a lot of times, you know what I mean? You 
need to motivate yourself to do things you do not want to do, but you know you have to do. In fact, that's a good majority of life. All right, you need to, you know, do things that you hate in order, you know, to get what you really want. You know what I mean? To get to the end result that you really want. So yeah, you know, we're just riding around the mall. You know, I just came out here. Because by the way, there's a lot of traffic, so I'm just trying to, you know, want to get my exercise, get some fresh air, do the video, and, um, you know, stay away from traffic. So that's why we're coming through here. Now, we're gonna go through the front of the mall. There might be more traffic there, but still, nothing like the street street. So anyways. Yeah, you know what I mean, guys? So like, uh, honestly, man, you know what I mean? You gotta motivate yourself to do things that you don't wanna do. And like, for example, I don't wanna do exercise. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm not, this ain't my thing. I'm not an exercise kind of dude, you know what I mean? But I love physical activity. Why do I love physical activity? Because I love the feeling I get from doing said physical activity. You follow me? So, you know, that's why, you know, I like the feeling I get from, uh, you know, doing exercise and feeling strong and feeling, uh, you know, uh, you know, able to breathe properly and uh, being able to, you know, when I get home at night, um, being able to sleep easier because, um, you know, again, you know, I'm kind of worn out from actual exercise. I like the fact that um, I'm losing weight, you know, meaning that I'm losing fat and I'm gaining muscle. I'm getting healthier. The older I get, the younger I feel and so on and so. So again, these are the motivators for me. The motivators for me are all these things that I just mentioned, you know, um, the same thing. I want to eat Krispy Kremes every day. I want to eat McDonald's every day, but guess what? You know what I mean? If I eat that, I'm gonna feel like shit every day. I'm gonna feel terrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get sick. I'm gonna get cancer. I'm gonna get like all of these things. And so I don't do that. I'll have McDonald's or Burger King maybe once every six months. No McDonald's actually, but definitely Burger King is pretty good. And other fast food is all right. But again, you know, another major contributing factor to me doing the live streaming uh, cooking is again, a motivator to me. I have to motivate myself like you guys have to motivate yourselves. But anyway, it's a motivator to me um, in the sense that, you know, um, it motivates me to uh, to cook something different, something healthy, something good, yummy. You know what I mean? Because again, anything you cook at home is healthy in comparison to anything you're gonna get on the street, no matter where you're getting it from, all right? It's always better to, you know, cook at home, know where your food and your things are coming from and all that stuff, okay? And so you gotta take care of your health, you know? Your health is a major, major, major component to everything, you know what I mean? If you are not feeling good, if you are not healthy, you cannot, you know what I mean? You cannot feel good emotionally. You cannot deal with certain things on a, you know, on a better level. You know, again, you know, you can't think clearly. You can't, you know what I mean? Act and, uh, um, you know, and be the person that you're supposed to be um, if you are all fucked up, you know what I mean? Um, because of uh, the fact that you are taking too much, um, you know, too many uh, uh, chemicals in your body. Again, you know what I mean? How, you know, all kinds of uh, interactions, you know, all kinds of things that you do on a daily basis, they are the ones that are, you know what I mean? Again, you're going to pay for them later one way or the other. So, you know, right now, I don't want to be doing this exercise per se. Um, I would rather be doing something else. But eventually, if I do enough of this exercise, I'm gonna get an end result I'm really, really gonna want and desire. And, um, and I'm covet, you know what I mean? Which again, just, is just being healthy. I'm not trying to be fucking looking. Oh. No, it's okay, no te preocupes, disculpa. <laughs> oh man, I almost ran that lady over. Anyways. But you see, I'm alert. You know, why am I alert? You know, because I eat pretty healthy. I, I'm out here doing exercise. Um, you know what I mean? Like, the, I got my brain, you know, working uh, pretty, pretty freaking good right now. You know what I mean? Uh, as clear as I can have it. And and that's the thing. You know what I mean? It's all about, you know, what, 
you know, you're gonna do to motivate yourself. And so a lot of times people don't wanna motivate themselves because they don't have the energy. They don't have the power. They don't have the, any of these things, you know, within them in order to really, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, um, in order to feel um, good. And so, you know what I mean? Like a lot of things like gut health, you know, actual, you know, health, health, you know, the, what you eat, you know, what you do. Look, we got the health police right in front of me. You know, I think these are, you know, these are the, 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 I don't know if you can see them or not, but these are the guys that, uh, they pick up the money, you know? So there's like a bank here, so they're just getting the money. Uh, so anyways, just like back home, right? Anyways, but yeah, you know, again, you know, you got to protect yourself, you know what I mean? Or otherwise you're going to wreck yourself. You got to, you know, again, make sure that you, your temple, your body, whatever you want to, you know, you, look, the whole saying of like your body is your temple, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I kind of agree with that, but I also agree with the fact that your body is also your playground. And so with that being said, you know, that your body is, you know, your playground, then, you know what I mean? You gotta be able to take care of that playground. You know what I mean? Like you can have your body be your playground and, um, you know, do pretty much whatever you wanna do. But if you don't take care of it and maintain it, it's just like any other playground. You know what I mean? This is gonna fall apart, which is not something you want. You know what I mean? So. And just, you know, a bunch of little things like that. You know what I mean? You gotta be able to take care of yourself. Um, in order for you to really, in order for you to really be able to, um, in order for you to really be able to, um, motivate yourself, you gotta be right. You know what I mean? You gotta be mentally correct. And the only way you can be really mentally correct is by going out there and getting that exercise, going out there and, um, you know, getting some air, you know, forcing yourself to do things that you don't want to do um, for your benefit, okay? Not, because remember, we got to do a million things that we do not want to do all the fucking time, every day. You know what I mean? Again, depending on how shitty your life is, you know what I'm saying? My life is not that shitty like it used to be where I used to do, like, again, 95% of my day consisted of things I did not want to do. Now, you know, or, or, did, or did not, um, you know, um, benefit me in any way. But now things are a little different, you know what I mean? Now, you know, the reality is, is that I am able to um, dictate things a little better, you know what I mean? I'm able to, um, you know, now since I got more control over my life, you know, the things that I hate to do are less. But anyways, the point I'm making is that, you know, we all got to do a lot of things that we hate, some more than others, okay? But... <clears throat> Um, what you, people need to start doing is start start getting rid, you know, getting rid of things that they don't want to do, the things that they <clears throat> that are not benefiting them in any way at all. They're actually hindering them and making life worse and, and all that other stuff. You know, what one needs to do is again, you know, get rid of those uh, things, replace them, all right, with things that are again, you know, you still don't want to do per se, but they're going to benefit you, okay, and they're going to make your life better for all intents and purposes, you know what I mean? Let me see, let me go down this street here. Can I go down this street? Yeah, fuck it. So, let me see how long we've been filming real quick. All right, <clears throat> but yeah. <clears throat> you know, guys, I mean, seriously, I, I understand, you know what I mean? It's not easy to motivate yourself, you know what I mean? For the longest time, I had to look at um, you know, so many things on, you know, whether it was a YouTube video or, um, you know, um, again, as a chef, you know what I mean? Having that, that, that lifestyle of militaristic, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you gotta do it. You better do this. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, all the, a lot of things like that helped me get, <clears throat> to a point where I can motivate myself. bit easier than most but again guys don't get it twisted you know what I mean there was a good portion of my life where I was watching uh, YouTube videos you know to motivate myself I was doing a bunch of other things to, to have these things help motivate me but one thing that uh, I remember I watch a lot of Gary Vee that's where you're gonna watch Gary Vee at the end of this video and I'm gonna keep uh, playing Gary Vee at the end of a lot of these videos but you know, the reality is, is that, you know, that Gary Vee guy, you know, he helped me a lot, you know what I mean? Like, he helps a lot of people in many ways, you know, with the motivation aspect of these things. But, <clears throat> you know, really, 
the whole Gary Vee thing, he, I remember him saying this and he goes, I will not be happy or, or he feels satisfied until you stop watching me. You know, this is to his audience. And I feel the same way. You know, now that I'm in a position where I'm making all these videos and, and uh, you guys like them and all this other stuff, the reality is that like, I'm not really gonna be happy or satisfied until you stop watching these fucking videos. Until you don't need them anymore. Because I used to need the Gary Vee videos a lot, but I don't need them anymore. I don't watch them anymore. You know what I mean? I only watch them now in order to, in order to uh, get something out of them for you so that I can put them in the video and all that stuff. You follow me? So, you know, um, I'm already at that point where I don't watch it anymore. You know what I mean? I don't watch uh, Gary Vee videos anymore um, to motivate me. I don't watch them. I don't, I don't need that. Um, and so, like, again, you know, I wanted to get to the point, and what, I know the reason I don't need it is because I'm already capable enough to, <clears throat> I'm already capable enough to um, motivate myself to the point where I don't need that, the motivation from anybody else. I'm, I'm, I'm enough of a motivator where, in fact, I'm such a good motivator to myself that it, it actually, it actually uh, now helps me motivate you guys and so many more other people. Um, so, you know, this whole motivational thing, you know what I mean? Again, you know, I, I, I do it so well now that it actually helps other people. And again, you know, I, I was always a motivator, you know, like in a lot of ways, you know, when I was a leader, um, as a chef, and I was a leader of men, and we had to do a lot of horrible, horrible things every fucking night, a lot of work, a lot of, you know, a lot of things that, again, they kind of go, under the radar, you know what I mean? It's like one of those really, really hard jobs. But again, I don't want to get into it. Everybody has a hard job and some more than others. And, you know, we took pride in having such a hard job and all that stuff. But the point is, is that, you know, that motivation, you know, comes from a, from a, a lot. You know what I mean? It's not, I know it's not that easy for almost for anyone. But I do know that everybody does have the capacity. Everybody really does have the capacity to motivate themselves. Um, but, you know, you need to get to the point where you don't need motivation from anyone else ever again. You know, whether it's from me, from Gary Vee, from, you know, whoever else is out there doing motivational stuff. Because another thing, too, I really didn't watch too much motivational stuff. I'll watch, like, maybe a speech here or there. Um, Gary Vee was just, like, my go-to guy, I guess, with that. I'm Jordan Peterson. Jordan motherfucking Peterson is someone that everybody... Everybody needs to listen to. If you are having problems with motivation and getting your shit together, you need to start listening to Jordan Peterson on a regular basis. You need to read his books. You need to do the fucking homework. You need to clean your room. You need to do all that shit, okay? So again, you know what I mean? Watching Jordan Peterson. Watching people like Gary Vee. Um, um, being 100% real with yourself. Being 100% honest with yourself. You know, all of these fucking things. I mean, that's how you're going to get to that point where you need to get. You know what I mean? Again, a lot of work. A lot of work that needs to be done by you. And nobody else is going to do it for you. It's not going to get done by anyone else. Or anything like that. So, again guys, you know what I mean? You need to, you know, start doing that work. You know what I mean? You need to start learning how to motivate yourself. Enough is enough. And so, again... You know, you got to just start getting off your butt, you know. Physical exercise and physical activity is such an important aspect to a lot of these things. A lot of people don't want to do anything because they just don't have, you know, um, that physical energy to expend. And um, because they don't have that, then all of a sudden, you know what I mean, the whole thing is a mess. You know what I mean? Like, they can't, of course, you're not, you don't have any energy to get up and do what you need to do. Um... If your body is in a funk, if your body is all messed up, if your body is not reacting the way it needs to react, if your body is not getting the proper exercise, is not getting the proper, um, you, you know what I mean? Like uh, movement, you know, the needs. Um, the, again, it's part of the oil. You got to oil the machine, you know? Um, and if you are, again, like the carnival, the temple, whatever the fuck it is, you know, you can't just abandon your temple. You can't just abandon your carnival, whatever you want to call your body and your your experience. You know what I mean? Here on Earth, you got to take care of it. Again, you got to take care of your mind. You got to do the homework. 
you know stop relying on uh, all these other things you know there's there's going to be coming a time where you're not going to have access to a lot of these things and you're going to be able you're going to have to be able to have to figure it out on your own so you need to start you know what i mean learning and it's a hard 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 pill to swallow you know but again you, if, if you need to watch videos like this over and over again until you get to that point i get it you know what i mean everyone's at a different um level everyone's at a different point but if you're already getting to that point where you know that you should already be doing what you need to do and stop watching these fucking videos and stop watching these fucking videos um but if you're out there and you're just still starting on your journey then you probably gotta watch like another fucking thousand of these motherfucking videos you know what i mean or whatever it takes i don't know everyone's different but you know you gotta be true to yourself you know you gotta be realistic and you gotta go get it it's not, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not going to just happen for you. You need to do that work. You can have the best life ever, the most amazing life ever. You can have everything you've ever dreamed of. But you need to, you know, again, you, you, you got to learn how to motivate yourself. If you don't learn how to motivate yourself, you're never going to fuck it. <clears throat> you're never going to get it. And that's it. And again, you know, right now, you know what I mean? I am exhausted. But it's okay. It's a good feeling. A good exhaustion. Look, we're, the little kitties, they were always swinging by. I don't know if you can see, I'm not gonna stop, but there's a lady there with all the kitties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. You know. So yeah, you know, there's a little kitty, kitty palace, you know, we gotta swing by here. Every time we take a little walk or a bike, check on the kitties. But and that's it, man. If you really want to live the dream life that you dream of, man, you can get it, man everything is attainable there's enough abundance in the world for everybody there's enough for everybody's enough there's enough there's plenty you gotta go get it though you gotta do that work if you don't do that work it's never gonna fucking happen you straight up and that's it all right so with that being said we are done all right i'm already at the crib and i gotta i'm tired i'm done all right so look at that we got the dog pound up in the house all right, guys, you already know the deal. If you like this kind of content, if you like this channel, you know, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please uh, hit the bell icon so you know when I go, uh, when I hit the a video. Check out my website. Check out all the other channels. Check out every single thing that I do. I do a lot of stuff out here in the internets, all right? Um, I cook. I clean. I do videos about, you know, my, my thoughts, like this channel. Um, I do videos about cooking live i do videos you know on living out here in mexico i do a podcast every tuesday and thursday night every single day we got content on this channel so please check it out guys all right thanks again for watching if you want to see more monday motivation check out the playlist at the end of this and you already know what's up thanks again for watching see you guys later sorry a little rocky over here stay awesome bye the biggest poison in us is regret. It's poison. And I push so hard, so hard, and will through my vehicle, which isn't meditation, which isn't health and wellness, which isn't nonprofit. My vehicle's business. I can't help it. It's what I love. I love building businesses. I love competing with you. I want to beat you. I love that game. But through that vehicle, I will always push a lack of regret, and awareness to how good it really is. You're more than welcome to tell me about how bad it is or why you can't because or what, but it's just not true. Because if anybody ever did it, then you can too. Stop making excuses. Stop complaining. Nobody's listening. They may make pretend they're listening. The market doesn't care. What you need to do is make one person happy, you then you can make everybody else happy. You know why I like making people happy? Because I'm already happy. And so I implore you to take this last little rant and really look at your fucking face and understand are you doing the things that are putting you in a position to succeed, not just in a business world but in life because it's super important because boy, when you're happy in life, your fucking business can roll. And so I'm just trying to figure it out and I've been trying to figure it out in front of you for the last seven, eight years, trying to figure out the unlocks. EQ, IQ, self-awareness, hustle. I don't know what they are, you know why? 
Cause like I told my man, it's 330 different unlocks. And so I'll go to all of them. They're all tried and true. And one might hit you. Yeah, it was hard work cause I'm actually lazy. I talk a good game but I'm full of shit. Or it might be something else. But fuck, one. And so. I'm back here. You're, you decided to sit? <laughs> you're into this, right? It's good, right? This is some good shit. You're gonna remember this? Good. One fucking life. One life, my friends, one time. And honestly, I'll leave you with this because a lot of you need it. How you make your money is more important than how much you make.